and welcome back to another video about the Industry 4.0. As you may know, the IT and OT systems are merging and the OT engineers are trying to take the advantage of the latest uh, technologies and advancement in the IT environment. For example, the expectation from an HMI or a SCADA system is no longer just showing some data on the screen or sending some command to the PLC or a DCS system. As a matter of fact, the expectation from an advanced OT system is um, the ability to communicate with the IT infrastructure in a simpler manner. But as you may know, the scripting functionality in the HMI and SCADA systems are sometimes limited. Of course, there are some more advanced platforms such as Siemens WinCC Unified Platform, which uh, gives you the ability to script or program in a JavaScript, but still there are some times that you need to implement some advanced tasks such as a machine learning algorithm or image processing or even voice recognition. In today's demonstration, I'm going to use a Python script for doing uh, voice recognition and sending some command to the PLC and ultimately showing that on the HMI system. So in other words, I built my own uh, voice assistant such as Alexa but for industrial environments. That means I can send some voice command to, to my PLC and also read some values from the PLC by sending some voice command. Okay, without further ado, let's jump into the detail and I will show you this interesting project to give you some idea for your Industry 4.0 and IoT project. Okay, so here are the components of my project. As you can see, I have a Python script which converts my voice command to text and then I'm going to use that text in my Python script to do different things. So in other words, this is my own version of Alexa but for industrial application. So I'm using this Python script not only to interact with OPC UA, also interact with some REST API and uh, also do basically anything that I want. I can implement machine learning algorithm, image processing, anything. The sky is the limit. Okay, uh, that's about my Python code and on my HMI as you see here. I just uh, put some random objects just to show you uh, the digital and analog values on the screen. As you see here, we have a filling machine hopper. Uh, I have a valve, I have a bucket and also conveyor belts and robots to show you the pick and place action and also on the right side we have a fan and the pump uh, and the fan and the pump we can uh, monitor the, the current speed and also to see whether the pump or fan are on or off and on the TI portal project I have one PLC CPU 1516 and also I'm using WinCC Unified PC base um, HMI for this demonstration. So as I explained in the other video, maybe I put the link somewhere up here maybe, uh, we have to enable the OPC UA server of the CPU, it is not enabled by default to be able to interact with the PLC over OPC UA. On the PLC I don't have any program at the moment, it can be a very complex program as you know, but I only have one data, bl data block which is called my DB1 and I define my tags over here uh, for turning on and off the pumps, uh, changing the pump and fan speed and so on. And on the HMI side, I only have the simplest screen. I have another screen for just showing the alarm for debugging it. So these objects are just simply connected to different tags. For example, this gate shows the current speed of the fan, which is connected to the tag called fan speed. After downloading my HMI, I will be able to access that uh, through a web browser such as the Edge or the Chrome or any other browser. So the next step is running my Python script to work in parallel and then sending some voice command to send some values to the PLC and also reading some values to PLC and update the HMI. To do so, I simply open a terminal and I can run my Python script by calling its name. 
So before running this Python script, uh, it's important to understand how it works. So after running this code, it will wait for a keyword to wake up from the sleep. I defined the, the keyword to be hello machine. And then after get, receiving that command, it will ask you for a command, for example, turn on or off the fan, turn on or off the, the pump, open or close the valve and so on. And also I can set the speed of the pump or the fan. Additionally, I can define any other functions that I want in my Python script. Here I just use reading the date and time of the system and also reading some values through the REST APIs. I'm using a website called Board API that gives you some random answers or the activity based on the request. Okay, without further ado, let's see how it works. Okay, as you see here, my code is listening for the keyword to wake up from the sleep. So I just simply call the keyword as I explained before. Hello machine. Hello, say your command. Date. Today is April 29th, 2023. Hello machine. Hello, say your command. I am bored. Learn how to use an Arduino. So the answer from this question comes from the board API. Just to demonstrate, you can do anything that you do with the normal Python in parallel with the interaction with your PLC. Okay, so let's send some command to the PLC over the OPC UA. Hello machine. Hello, say your command. Turn on the fan. Okay, as you see here, my fan is turned on and my voice command has been transferred to my PLC through the OPC UA. Again, I can wake up my voice command engine uh, by saying the keyword and sending some other command. In the next few seconds, I'm going to try the system with different commands. Hello, machine. Hello, say your command. Open the valve. Okay, as you see here, my valve is turned on or it's open now. And again, this is just a simpler HMI. It can be very complex system, but just for a demonstration, let's go to the next command. Hello, machine. Hello, say your command. Turn on the pump. Okay, my pump is turned on. Hello, machine. Hello, say your command. Pick up the object. Okay, as you see here, my robot is on right now or it's in a picking place. And then we can, with another command, we can just release the robot. Hello, machine. Hello, say your command. Release the robot. Hello, machine. Hello, say your command. Change the fan speed. Sorry, I didn't get your command. Please say it again. Change the fan speed. What is the desired set point? 36. Please confirm. The fan speed will be set to 36 RPM. Yes or no? Yes. Executing the command. Okay, as you see here, my command for changing the speed of the fan has gone through, through the OPC UA. Let's do the same for the pump. Hello, machine. Hello. Say your command. Change the pump speed. What is the desired set point? 13. Please confirm. The pump speed will be set to 13 RPM. Yes or no? Yes. Executing the command. Okay. 
So let's just turn them all off. Hello, machine. Hello. Say your command. Turn off the fan. Okay, as you see, my fan is off now. Hello, machine. Hello. Say your command. Turn off the pump. Okay, my pump is off. Let's read this value. Hello, machine. Hello. Say your command. What is the current fan speed? 36 RPM. Hello, machine. Hello. Say your command. Close the valve. Okay, and here is a closer look to my data block through the OPC UA. As you see here, these are all connected to my HMI and with the voice command, I can just change these values. Hello, machine. Hello. Say your command. Open the valve. Okay, as you see here, my variable valve on is true. Hello, machine. Hello. Say your command. Close the valve. And the value is changed to false. Okay, as you saw, you can use any programming language to interact with your automation system in parallel. And you don't have to write every single piece of code in your HMI or SCADA system or within your PLC. And they work really smooth next to each other. So in this example, I just use a voice command or a speech recognition feature, but you can use any other advanced topics such as you know machine learning or image processing and any other tasks that you want to have in your HMI or SCADA system or overall in your OT system, which is not available currently in the platform that you are using. And as you saw, it's very easy and smooth to communicate with Siemens PLC over the OPC UA, but uh, you can use any other protocol as well to, for this communication. I personally like OPC UA because it's standard. There's a lot of libraries for different programming languages, but you can use Modbus or even just a normal Ethernet IP. Okay, I hope this video gave you some ideas and you can use these ideas to expand the functionality of your HMI and SCADA system by implementing some advanced tasks using other programming languages which your current HMI and SCADA system doesn't support. And like always, don't forget to leave a comment and connect with me on LinkedIn if you have any further questions. Until the next time, have a good day.